Welcome back to Radio Helicopter. Okay, they want me to name my character for adventure mode. I'll go with PW Hawk. Okay, we're ready to finish this game. Everyone is sick of it. I don't want to do it in a light one. I'm going to use a medium one. Maybe... no, this one, yeah. I'm kind of familiar with this one after the... the, the final mission of the challenge mode. And this is where I start to realize that things are not going to go as I planned. Because this is not where the game started when I was... in my previous run, when I was doing it in a small helicopter. By the way, helicopters without rockets, they just interact by, you know, when, when you press a button. And that's it. You don't need to wait for the rockets, so I should not have picked an armed helicopter. Because now I also have to deal with the hitbox of the rockets. Because there are some switches you need to hit in this game before you can uh, collect some of these stars. Yeah, so this is the problem with the first with the first part of the game. You need to get somewhere. You need to. You only save your progress when you transition from one room to another. When you start the game, you can't go anywhere. You can't save, and you need to collect five stars in this first room where you start. So there's one here, one under the ceiling, and one is under the ceiling in that entry hall. I'm, going, I'm not going to show it. There's nothing here. Okay, I'm not going to be showing how I get every single star, but I'll, I'll try to show something like this, you know. Uh, preferably without the fuck-ups. Anyway, so there's also another star here on the stairs as you're moving upstairs. And I don't remember how many... Oh yes, there's a counter. Yeah, the fourth star is the one in the, under the ceiling in the hallway. But now I've got an open door. Let's see which door it is. That is kind of important. Oh, another under the ceiling. That's not funny. Okay, so... Uh, where do I go next? Okay, it turns out it's this room on the second floor. It's... Uh, Kids' Bedroom B. And this is the room with the gun. With the one active gun in the entire adventure mode. And it's not actually firing at anything in particular, it's just there. Right, so, we've got a star here on the shelves. There was a star in that closet somewhere, I think. Oh, there, there it is. Are these DVDs? Books? Something aqua. Everything in this entire game is actually branded aqua, as we'll see. Now we're going to save. By the way, yes, the door can slam you in the face when you're trying to leave a room after collecting some stars, so be careful, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh, by the way, you don't find out how many stars there are in the room until you collect a star, leave, and come back. That's the only time you see the, the total counter. Great. There is a physics engine in this game, so sometimes you need to physics things away, mainly pillows. This game also loves to hide, uh, hide stars in drawers. There's a dictionary on the table. And there's something else. A kind of book. There's also a star above this spinning zeppelin. And there is a star in the air conditioner. And by the way, this star will disappear if you turn off the air conditioner. Like, the challenge here is that you need to go against this flow. And there is a star inside this zeppelin, which is not moving. It's kind of like a pillow, but airborne. And 
No, there's nothing here. Well, if, you, if I were flying a small helicopter, I would have to fly inside that... that closet. Now, let's try to get this. Uh, uh, sorry, I... Uh, Now, this is the next room, and this is the den. Ah, this introduces us to one mechanic, uh, one of the dumber mechanics of the game. And no, it's not this star ho hovering over the PC. It's that. No, not the star in front of the uh, display, it's the star you see in the picture. That's a star that appeared in a different room we haven't been to. Let's hit a clock. I've already done that. Anyway, that star, that star appeared in a different room. We'll be, we'll, we'll come to next. No, not next. There are only two stars in this entire game which are triggered by objects not in the room they're in, and it's really annoying. If you say, if you run into one of those early in the game and you don't realize that there are only two stars like these and you'll be putting off finding stars in all the, all the kinds of rooms you know, stars which you can't find immediately thinking that, oh well, I'll trigger it in some other room no, you don't, there are only two of them one of them is in the living room, I think and the other one is in the hallway so, yeah I'm just collecting these stars, 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 and more stars. And I'm really, really happy that I don't need to do this in a small helicopter. Because, yeah, there would have been some really bullshit... Wait, oh, there it is. There would have been some really bullshit locations where these stars would be hiding. Now, where to next? Oh, by the way, this is this is the seventh star in the hallway. Come on. Now, anyway, so I got it, and now we are in the bedroom. Where... There is another ceiling fan. You know, they really like ceiling fans in this house. I wonder why. Maybe they're, like, big fans of spinning things? Explains their fascination with radio helicopters. Okay, I've opened another door, you see that icon in the bottom. This is really the entire mode, this is... this is... this is what they call adventure. No, no stars here, and probably... There'll probably be a star here in some other mode. Yep, there is a star. So it's kind of like a hidden object game, except, well, yeah, it is kind of like a hidden object game. Stuff just arbitrarily thrown around and try to find it. I'd say this is not my favorite three-dimensional hidden object game. That probably would be the two Everblue games, which were made by the same company that developed Endless Ocean for the Wii. Except, of course, in Everblue games, you can die because, you know, you, you just run out of... Oh, by the way, this is the bullshit star, yes. You need to shoot this fan just right to make it slow down, and then you grab the star and hope it doesn't hit you. Yeah, Everblue is, is a better game than this one because it's, uh, it's less finicky. It's actually got a functional collision detection system. more fun, it's got characters in it too. And also fits on a single CD. Both Everblue, well, Everblue 1 and Everblue 2 each fits on one CD. And the games are all about looting, unlike Endless Ocean, which is all about tickling dolphins and petting fish. No, it's a, it's a nice chill game in its own.
So this is going for a while. Aqua White Strong. Um, I think it's a laundry detergent. There's a star in the bottom there near the screen and there actually is a star inside that closet. Oh, you see this washing machine? Yeah, when a small helicopter you need to fly inside it and collect a star in, in it. Good luck with that. Oh, there is one under that stool. Oh, that door? Yes, that's absolutely a room and you go crazy trying to remember where have you seen another another door when it unlocks because the game doesn't tell you which door you've unlocked in the house. Okay, can I do it? Okay, anyway, doesn't matter. Finally, we got to the living room. And there, you see that star inside the fireplace? That star would not have been here had I not shot that TV, that, uh, that computer, in the den. But, to make things m worse, you see that TV? That TV turns on the star inside the hallway, the last star in, in the hallway. Uh, that not that great? And there's also a star here. Stars are everywhere. You know, this is like Resident Evil, what was it, 3? There's one on the pillow. Well, inside the pillow, they, they haven't quite got it right. And another star. Oh, this room also has a star inside the ceiling fan, but I'm going to leave it for later, I think. Because it is absolute bullshit, you can see it there. That's a different star on the ceiling, because why not? Okay, am I missing anything else? Oh, there's, a, there's one. And there's a really fat cat on that photo. There's another door, which we'll unlock eventually. Best not forget it. And here I can collect the final the final star for the hallway. Here it is. Um, come on. So we're mostly done with the bullshit stars. We're, with the really bullshit stars. There are four here. Okay, so it's not here. Oh, I see it. There's one here, very low level, and there is another one there. Oh, and I know where the, the third one is. The third one is actually... No, not here. This is, this is where they store Aqua Brand Whiskey, which shows a... It's either a sunset or a nuclear explosion. So this is the worst star in the level. And this is the not-so-bad star. No, I don't know why I didn't go across the table. Should have gone across the table. Anyway, this took me 10 minutes. This one star, after I saved my progress by going out and in, back in. Yeah, that, that room can go fuck itself. Now, where do we go next? Well, as it turns out, right here. The restroom. Oh yes, this is my favorite, this is one of my favorite stars. Yes, you guessed it. This is much easier when I don't have missiles. Okay, so yes, we need to... Yes, we need to dunk our helicopter in the crapper. This is amazing. Thank you, Taito, for this. You'll see why when I finish this video. Okay. There are actually only five stars in this entire room. Three down there, one right here under the ceiling, and the... 
final one is actually not... No, it's not here, it's not in the old sound system, it's not in the pile of toilet paper, it's... Uh, it's here, you need to hit one of the, one of the tabs. Just right. No, my missiles do not have a reflection. Weird. No, 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 there is nothing else here. This is just a very small room. Oh, I found the found the last missing star was missing in the bedroom. It was, as you can see, near a photo clearly marked with a star. If you fly right up to it. Kids bedroom A. Can it be worse than kids bedroom B? No, I don't think so. Okay, so it's got an open window. No, you can't fly out that open window. You you just die. There is a there is an invisible wall. It kills you. Everything kills you in this game. So as you notice, there is a computer which tells you where the next star is. Well, it gives you a hint where the next star is, but it doesn't necessarily have to be there, as we'll discover. Luckily for us, there is. But a TV! Okay, give me a moment, I, I need to get that TV. Eventually. Do I hit this clock? No, this is not the clock you're supposed to hit. That... Okay, see it's showing some kind of uh, drawer. But it's in a green area. The green area is actually inside this... Uh, niche. And there it is. And I can hit that drawer. And there is nothing in there because it's it's something that appears only when you're flying, um, what's it called? In small helicopter mode. Oh, look at this. It's nice. Right on top of this CD rack. Oh, come on, careful, careful. No, 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 shit, shit. And I fell into the room transition trigger. Nice. I would have lost so much progress. Okay, this is the real bullshit star. And obviously there is a star inside the air conditioner. And just to show you, yeah, it disappears if you turn it off. And here's a, one of those stars you need to know it is there, or you need to know this game's trick to find it, because... Yeah, it's... It's again in the pillow. The reason I'm going into the living room is because I finally unlocked the kitchen. Well, I didn't know it yet, but I, I had to try all the locked doors in the house, but... Eventually, I discovered that, yes, it was indeed the kitchen. We already know the kitchen, and yes, there is this star I've seen before. In one of the challenges. I don't think there's much new in this kitchen. And there's a bunch of stars and equipment. Uh, there is a star in the drawer somewhere. We'll be able to open the fridge this time, by the way. There's a star under the table. Oh, did you hear this? Uh, something, a star appears, something opened. But it wasn't on this table. That's because... Well... There, there, th this is where my missile hit. It went through a solid wall, I think. Now this is a star which you get by turning on every single... Oh no, I didn't turn this off. I need to burn the breakfast. What have we got here? Uh, it's... It's cooking salt and I think... No, it's not... It says cooking... Cooking pepper. Yes, it's, it's cooking pepper. As opposed to all the other pepper. And it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything either. And microwave doesn't doesn't trigger. I know what does trigger though. It's the fridge. The 
got some pizza. Yeah, there's a pizza and there is something else, I don't know what it is. But here on the freeze freezer door we've got Aqua Brand Pizza. To go with your Aqua Brand Whiskey and your Aqua Brand Detergent. Now I'll just shoot up this cupboard to check if there's anything funny in it. Notice there's nothing. Remember it. There was nothing in this cupboard. Okay, there's a star under the ceiling and there is another one under the ceiling in, the, in a different corner of the room because this game is not the most imaginative one out there. You can't see it now, but I know there is a star there. There's a star under the table too. Oh, and there's a star hidden in this niche. Uh, kind of dangerous. Anyway, I left I left one star undiscovered. There is one star left in the kitchen, and I'm afraid it's going to be the very last star I find. And this is why you check the door, like you open the door before you actually, you know, get to the door. So where to now? Where haven't I been? Well, it turns out it's the basement. Even though the basement was the last level of the small helicopter mode, it's not the case with this one. Now we've got one other room to discover. Okay, predictable. What else have we got? And there's nothing there. There's some charcoal, there's some wood. This fire extinguisher doesn't do anything, though I triggered something. Oh, oh, you see this... You see this... Uh, this gap? Behind the toolbox, in the corner? When you're flying a small helicopter mode, one of the stars is right there in the tiny corner between the toolbox and the wall. You need to fly there. And that's not even the worst uh, part, uh, the worst star in here. Because you see this T-shaped cutout between these two boxes? A star is also there, and you need to fly basically perfectly level exactly into that hole so that your helicopter, uh, so that your rotor is uh, doesn't is not touching the boxes, and your body is right between the boxes, and it's complete bullshit, and I spend I don't know, 20 minutes getting that, that one star. Thankfully I'm not doing it anymore, I'm I'm flying a medium helicopter. Should have picked a large one. And I'll turn around and pick another star. Still in the basement. That was easy. Now, any other stars I've got? No, nothing in the drawer, but I've got a star here. Under the table. As usual. And it took me quite a while. And finally, the final room is... The bathroom. Which has running water. He's going by the sound. Now, there's a star here you need to trigger by hitting one of these. Uh, no. No, it's, it appears there, but you need to trigger it by hitting the tab just right. Did I do it? Yes, got it. No, water doesn't do anything. Which is strange. And there is another star down here. And given that I'm still missing a star in the kitchen, you see I only need four more. One's near this... It's the window. It's the bathroom with windows. Maybe it's a mirror. There's another one under the ceiling. And... Um, what else have we got there? Oh yes, there was one above the water, I think. Still, I'm still missing one, I haven't seen one. So anyway, I spent about uh, 
10 minutes at least looking for the last star because this is not the last star this is just a the wet star and as it turned out the very last star is here you need to hit this thing just right and you get another star above the water because why be creative when you can just repeat yourself all the time It applies to commentary as well. So, I've got just one bloody star. No, it's not in the dressing room, but I need to get out of here. Ah. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to where? We're going to the kitchen. To find that last star, and it... guess what? It's here, it's, it's right here, I shot at this thing and it didn't trigger. So, with 100 stars collected, we can finally leave the house. Whoever locked us in here is satisfied. Oh, by the way, what does this bottle say? What brand is it? Well, obviously it's Aqua. Oh, was it, what's this magazine? I can't quite make it out. Uh, well, I can't make it out even now. Uh, screw it, let's fly away. Outdoors awaits. And this is our reward. The credits with something floating in a star. So this is Radio Helicopter 2, which is unrelated to Radio Helicopter 1. But, you know, I think it belongs. I think 505 did the right call and meshed these two games together because... Oh, PlayStation 2 version. Did it have uh, did it have other versions? Yeah, I think I think 505 did did a good job, you know, mixing them all, because there are common elements. There are very similar missions. There are this whole stupid star collecting mechanic, which somehow works here worse than uh, you know collecting stuff worked in uh, what was it? A radio helicopter by five by five no five one. Then a radio helicopter by uh, D3 publisher. I mean, this game has a superior uh, physics model. Level design is just crap. Oh, by the way, that, that's the same producer that the other game had. Oh, is this, is this the entire credits? I guess it is. Oh, oh, well, one day I'll press a button and this will be over. And we'll unlock whatever we'll unlock. I wonder what it's going to be. Maybe some kind of dragon? Who knows? Okay, you got a new helicopter, I need to save. Now, let's see what we've got. Free flight. I'm going to pick... Okay, this room. Oh, I got the intermeshing rotor one, and I got the... Whatever the hell this is, it doesn't have a name. Okay, let's go with this one. Oh, this this engine noise, this is terrible. This is awful. Can you imagine flying the, like playing this game and like spending an entire hour in adventure mode just flying like this? With your engine sound being beep boop noises? Can I get this thing on the ground? Okay, it doesn't have landing gear, it's just... Actually, it reminds me of that UFO that was in the... what was it? Uh, Sky Odyssey. Okay, my heli my rotor broke off. Yeah, I can see how flying in this thing would be a problem. But, but... I did another run of Adventure Mode. I suffered, I played it, 
and I got the small helicopter reward. And let's see what the small helicopter reward is. Except I'm going to pick a different room. Yes, this one. And I didn't I didn't bother with challenges here. This is your reward for beating a small helicopter mode. It's a space invader. It's going to be awesome. I'm not, not, not sure why this... why this sound. So this is our Space Invader, we, we can look at it... We can look at it in first person when I switch the camera. It doesn't look too bad. It controls exactly as you'd expect something with its shape to control. In any kind of, you know, in any kind of decent physics engine. Now we're going to open this. We're going to do what everyone has been dreaming of ever since this game went into complete bullshit. A level of um, mission design. Yes. Yes, this is a game made by Taito, published by Taito, which allows you to dunk Taito's, one of the most uh, iconic Taito's properties, into the crapper. Was it worth it? Not sure. Anyway, I don't think I should be continuing with radio helicoptering, I've got one more game, but let's put it aside for now. Let's do something different. I've got... what's it called? Um, something about special forces? Yeah, I should, I should probably check it out. Police brutality is always popular. <laughs> 